I'm just chewing on a carrot. Well, uh oh, well, that's not a good way to start. I shouldn't have put the oil in it. Well, it's Sunday. It's a beautiful day. They said it would rain all day. Monster washers. As soon as I turn the camera around, 180 degrees. Not that way. That way. The suit I'm working on. I haven't made a video all day. I need a break. I'm Corvair Wild on YouTube. Yep. I've been working on this thing for probably three hours. Kind of, sort of. I love carrots. So, what I've done on my 62 Spider that was missing some differential oil. What a bunch of grief for a little bit of differential oil. Pulled off the brakes. All the new brakes that I put on last year. Pulled the axles out that are rebuilt. Pulled the universal joints out of the differential. Built this apparatus. Put some oil in my jack that was missing oil. So it wouldn't go, that'd be good, yeah. wouldn't go up high enough. I got this Corvair way up in the air so the engine can clear this pan. Usually on the carbureted engines, the one of the studs that goes through the carburetor stands up that high and it hits the pan but I don't have that problem I have a turbo so mine sits a foot higher instead of right there that stud being that high I've got the carb and turbo and I don't feel like taking them off it's just more things to put back on got carrots so, I've got all the wires undone, battery cables, oil pressure switch, exhaust crossover, I had to heat those up. Studs were a little rusty, didn't have some anti-seize. I got that off, I got the camber compensator off, I got the brake shoes, I got the rubber that goes around the circumference of the engine to seal it. Keeps the hot air on the bottom and the cooler cooling air on top. I got a split in one of my heater hoses. I got everything taken off, I think. I think. I've got the clutch rod disconnected. I've got the shifter disconnected. That's the shifter coupler. I've got the throttle bell crank disconnected. I got the wires unsoldered for the reverse switch. I like the way they put it on this. Four corner transmission right on the bottom. So when you drag one for parts, you break the switch. This one's not that great. Got those unsoldered. And I'm ready with my 15 inch by 26 apparatus that I made from scrap wood. Would you believe that this length of two by four was exactly 86 inches or 82 inches, exactly what I needed. And this other shelf, was half an inch too wide, so I doubled it up over here so it shouldn't be a And I drilled it and I stuck a big bolt through the middle to attach to the jack. And I've taken the two bolts of the engine mount in the front here, in front of the transmission. And I took the one up in the back because all that holds the Corvair up in the back is one stud. Pretty stupid, huh? The newer ones, 65 and up, have two studs. There should have been something in the middle because there's a lot of weight and I'm ready to drop the power pack the last time I did this would you believe it was 30 years ago oh, man, I am old so where can I set the camera so that you can watch this oh, right on this old coffee can Tech here. I'll move it back so you get a good vantage, and I'll find out what I didn't undo. As soon as I start lowering it. Last time I did this was on a 61 703 speed or a 68 second to last year. There it is. 68 Monza, a pink one. I don't know. I wish I had my blackjack here, the new one that I bought. But it's with a green pickup. With my 
motorcycle jack, which would have been a bit easier to do this. But. Yeah, it's going down by itself. Crunch, crunch, groan, groan. Uh oh, I think I forgot to undo the rubber strip in the back. Yep. Don't want to wreck that. Back up. That's how it goes in the Corvair business. All that because I was missing a quart of oil. Oh my god, gotta pull the strip off from the top. Yep, six more little bolts. I'll be back. At the carrot break. All right, I just pulled off the fuel line, got a bit of stale fuel on the ground. Oh, sparks, please. And... And threads. Got the seal undone here. Little rubber flaps. And, I guess I'll put the camera back on the coffee can. Try it again. My buddy in... Jonesboro, Tennessee, he said. Put a fresh chip in it to record the entire operation. I said, give me a break. It's freaking videos. Stop it. Check it out. Don't want to have a Corvair with a motor sitting on the ground still connected to stuff, do we? some little ground strap. I've got that ground strap disconnected, but there should be one here. Hmm. Yeah, it smells of gas now. Just like the old days. I think I got it all. Match third-party content. It's the media project on WAMC with Alan Shark Talk from Albany, recorded on Friday, broadcast on Sunday at six and Monday at three. It's coming down at the back of the vehicle. Still engaged in the front. Nope, it's out. Yeah, the shifter's a little bit in the way. Might be a bit of interference there. Shifter's gonna come. I think you have to move the whole thing that way towards the passenger side to undo the ball. I believe this thing still has the original fan motor for the heater? <laughs> 50 years old! Crazy, huh? Fifty years old. Not a bad fixture that I made. I just had to add the blocks because my jack wouldn't go up high enough. Oh, but I didn't forget anything. the outlet rubbing right there
I'm going to have to twist this whole thing. Get the clutch to disconnect the clutch cross shaft. I bet you guys that do this all the time do it a lot faster than me, a lot more efficiently, but I'm an amateur, I admit it. You have to pull it backwards, get it to clear the shifter coupler. Time to pull it backwards? Maybe? Okay. Yeah, I like that vantage point back here better. Yep. Time to pull it backwards a bit. Just about to clear the alternator. Clunk. Pump. Right there. Engine mount, unused fuel pump. Time to drop it some more. I still have to disconnect the clutch cross shaft. It's going to be fun to put back in. Breather tube just hung up for a second. Last time I did this, like I said, probably 30 years ago or 25 years ago. Proper clamp. Vacuum advance, pressure retard combo. Last time I did this it was a power glide. One of them was a power glide. I used a floor jack. I think I still have that floor jack. With nothing like this. Zero. It was way before I bought my first apartment building. Didn't know how to hold a hammer. Now that's clear now. Clutch cross shaft is next. Yep. Ball just pops out. There's a ball on the end of that stud. Little ball goes in the hole. <sighs> Guess I didn't forget anything. Pretty good, huh? Should be right angle. Mm -hmm. I bet you the Corvair guys are watching this, telling me exactly what to do. But of course, I already got it out by the time you see this video. Pry it sideways with this Craftsman Made in USA screwdriver. <laughs> Hmm. I did that nut earlier. I'll take it off again. Alright, give me a few.